Why hello hello folks! We got a brand new Nightwave intermission season and they're starting off the first week with uh, this one Killing a Tusk Thumper Dolma. It's been a while since this one has been in the rotation uh, And we got four days here to, to do this one. So uh, there is like I think there's like one or two guides out there already They're like three years old at this point. I figured I could maybe give a more updated uh, sort of guide to uh, show you how to make this Real smooth sailing, be done in a jiffy. So, I'm gonna use Nova uh, for this guide. The reason why is because uh, you can do slow effects on Tusk Thumpers to make them uh, a lot easier to fight against. There are a couple of Warframes who can do this. Nova can slow enemies, Sevagoth can slow enemies with Gloom. Hilariously for this guide, I have infused Nova uh, with the helmet system with Sevagoth's Gloom. So we can have both Molecular Prime and Gloom, so we're gonna do double slow here to basically just grind this Tusk Thumper to a complete halt. Then after that, you have to target the weak points on its legs and then just grind out all its uh, health from there. Uh, for that, I'm gonna recommend using a weapon that has infinite ammo, something like the Fulmin, for example. Because otherwise, if you come in and unprepared or whatever and try to fight against the Tusk Thumper, uh, you'll, like, you'll, you'll, you will actually run out of bullets before you can take it down. But if we have infinite ammo, then that is not a problem. Also, what we have now that we didn't used to have before is we've got Necromex. And, you know, hey, um, the Fluctus with infinite punch through is pretty good for just uh, aiming at uh, the, the legs of the Tusk Thumper. And of course, guard mode going into uh, Archibex form and just blasting is also very strong for taking it out quickly. Uh, you want to mod your weapon for radiation damage, that is very potent against Tusk Thumpers. And also, finally, the Sarpa. The Sarpa with the Shattering Impact mod. You can use this on any melee weapon, but it works very well with the Sarpa because it fires so many bullets on every uh, shot as a gun blade. Uh, we can actually use this to armor strip the Tusk Thumper to make it uh, a lot less tanky than it otherwise would be, uh, which which uh, makes killing it a lot faster. Now, um, there is one more thing we need to uh, take note of, and that is, I'm just gonna jump into the Plains Vital on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this one to solo. I'm just gonna go free roaming in the Plains of Eidolon um, to talk about how to get uh, the correct type of Tusk Thumper to spawn. Now, first up, it has to be day, okay? Uh, because I know you can do bounties at night and stuff like that, but, you know, Dargins don't come out at night and the Tusk Thumpers don't come out at night. So, check, check if it's night or day. Uh, now it says it's night in one hour, so we just flipped over to day. If it's not day, you just have to wait. You can just run around for hours, you won't find any Tusk Thumpers. Now, they have a couple of different spawn points. Some are more common than others. They can spawn up here, but it's fairly uncommon for that to be the case. Very common for them to spawn in this area, and sometimes they spawn in this area. So you should always like start by looking around here-ish. Now, What's important here is that different uh, Tusk Thumpers spawn based on enemy level. So the closer you are to Cetus, the closer you are here to the doors, the lower the level the enemies. And the further off, the higher level the enemy. So technically, like if you're really far away, you could find a Doma. But what you can do, which is easier, is to start a bounty. Uh, if you start a bounty that sets the, uh, the level of the enemies, based on um, uh, what bounty you choose. So, so we don't have to do a steel path, but we can just start the highest level one. We'll start the level 40 to 60 bounty, and in so doing, now all the enemies we face are gonna be level 40 to 60. We don't actually have to do the bounty. Just by starting this, uh, now, uh, now we're at the appropriate level. So we're not gonna go over to the bounty. Uh, we are instead gonna go and check the common spawn points for Tusk Thumpers. So first of up, we'll, we'll check uh, here in this area. I mean, you can usually hear it. Mm, no, not here. Then we'll go over here to this area. 
see if we can find a Tusk Thumper maybe over here. Ah, there we go. And it's a Doma. So that's what we wanted. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna activate Gloom. We're gonna activate Molecular Prime. This guy has been slowed to an absolute crawl. And then you have to shoot the legs to break open uh, these things so that you can actually target the weak points. But first, we're gonna use the Sarpa. See how his health bar turned from yellow to red? That's all it took. That is how long it took to completely strip this thing of all its armor. It does not take long at all. Um, if you use the Sarpa. I mean, you can do this with uh, basically any... Um, melee weapon with the Shattering Impact mod. It's just that it's way, way, way faster to do it with the Sarpa than anything else based on the, the sheer number of pellets that you fire at the same time. Uh, it does have these cannons or whatever. You can take those out. Uh, for a while. Like so. And then it won't shoot you with those. So that's nice. Now, as you can see still, like this, it works. It's just gonna take a while. And, um... We have infinite ammo. We have gloom, so we are slowing it down. And slowing this thing down actually helps a lot with, like, just getting your shots in. You can plop an energy restore if you want to. Gotta turn off gloom, though. Otherwise, I won't get the energy from the energy restore. Energy restores don't work if you're currently having, like, uh, channeled abilities active. So we're just gonna bump up our energy like so. So we can keep this guy at an absolute crawl. Look at this. Look at this. When he's moving this slow, uh, actually getting your shots in uh, is smooth sailing. Now, of course, if we want to speed up the process even further... We go Necromech. We go Archibex. And as you can see here then... Uh, we took out that leg... In a millisecond. Then we just switch over to this leg. Took that one out. This leg. Took that one out. Well, not yet. Ah! Because my molecular prime ran out. Uh, because we do want this guy to stay still. And the combination of Gloom and uh, Molecular Prime means he's gonna do just that. And then we'll just find the final leg. And blast him. Molecular Prime ran out again. That's annoying. That is annoying, because we want him to stand still. Thank you. We want him to stand absolutely still. So that we can do this. And there you go. When the why is plain as day, the how tends to get done. That is how you do it, people. You use a weapon with radiation damage. If you want to do it even faster, use a Necromech. You use slow effects, like Molecular Prime and Gloom, to make it stand the fuck still. <laughs> so that you can get your shots in. And you use a Sarpa with Shattering Impact to just remove all its armor in a couple of seconds. Uh, you do it during the day. I don't care that I failed the mission. I wasn't doing the bounty anyway. You do it during the day, and uh, you... Uh, oh yeah, by the way, by the way, uh, they do drop some rare stuff. They can drop some rare mods, they drop some rare fish stuff or whatever. So if you want those, <laughs> I guess you do have to finish the bounty and not get the mission fail. I was just after the Nightwave points. I didn't really care, and he didn't seem to drop a rare mod for me anyway. So it's, it's, it's fine, they just lost out on some rare fish parts. That's not the end of the world. But yeah, gotta be during the day, set it to the tier 5 um, bounty. Go check the normal spawn points for Tusk Thumpers. And just go to town on it. And as you can see here, I didn't do any cuts in the fight. Just to show you that like this does not have to take long at all. 
Um, slow it down, strip its armor, and it's actually uh, pretty easy. So yeah, that's the guide. That's a, that's an easy 7,000 night wave point, which is a nice way of uh, wow. starting out this uh, this new season of night wave, because there's some there's some cool stuff here. This this rhino sigil actually looks pretty nice. <laughs> no, but there's there's some cool stuff. That's so get cracking, people! New night wave season. Get cracking, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for something completely different.